Yeah. All right. Yeah, so this is... Uh, we are here with Sam. Yes. And uh, also Legendary known... Legendary Sam, mate. Yeah. Also known on the terraces as Suntan Sam. Suntan yeah. Sam, mate. The <laughs> BC, Forest yeah. Executive Crew. That's it, that's it, <laughs> there we that's go. it. That's, uh, all right, well, we'll just get straight into it then. Yeah. Uh, you said just a second ago you were filming a bit with Mickey Flanagan yes. about... Uh, yes, uh, on Sky One, called Thinking Out Loud, Patriotism. Yeah. It was about English hooligans abroad. Obviously, the National Front in the 70s to the 80s. And obviously, I want to get across to people, lads with skinheads, tattoos, football lads, the most loyal lads to go. They're not racist. Mm-hmm. By far, they're not racist. If you look back at my firm... I've got mixed race lads in there. I've got black lads in there. I've got Asian lads in there. Mm-hmm. We're a culture. And I've always said there's one race. It's a human race. It's not if you're black, yellow, pink, whatever. Mm-hmm. There's one race. is a human race. So let me get this first across over. Football lads aren't racist. Mm-hmm. We love a club. We love a country. Yeah, we're all patriotic and everything. I'm passionate, everything passionate. Out. But we are not racist. I need to get that out to everybody across the world. We are not racist people. We are very loyal people. Yeah. For instance, if one of the lads got in trouble and went to prison, we'd all get together, make sure the kids have got new trainers, make sure the bills are paid. Yeah, as it should be. We're a one. Yeah, so do you, is it is there a misconception where like violence uh, is at football matches is related to hooliganism straight away, whether it's like... You know, uh, I've, I've always said, and I've always said to people, do you know... Hooligan was a Franklin Hooligan. He was an Irish man from London. And obviously he went round pubs drinking, fighting. Uh, we don't class ourselves as a, a pisshead, a drunken. Mm-hmm. I always say I belong to an element of lads who enjoyed violence. But the violence was against people who did what we did. Yeah. yeah. Not a, not innocent people. Yeah. Not the gentleman sat over there with his son. We're not going to beat you up because you've got a different shirt yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I'm not beating him up because he had an Arsenal shirt on. He's in there now. He's in there now. We need to get that across. We're not people who just pick on other people. We, we are people where we need to organise. Yeah. Group of lads, group of lads, and we go at it. Yeah. It's, it's what it was. Some people don't, and we'll get, because I'm fascinated by it, like, and I, I understand it. I used to box very young. I realised I'm not a fighter. I don't like hitting, See, I don't like getting hit. taught me boxing at four years old, and I think that's why I got quite good at it. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's it. And like, I, like I, I, I didn't get taught it. I just wanted, I felt like I wanted to do it. But there's this urge sometimes to engage in something like that. And the idea of like groups, like the group you're part of, the executives, and then all of these groups of different teams. Now they meet up and it, people don't realise that it's an organised thing. Mm. And this is why now, obviously when the banning orders come out in the, the 90s, it, it ruined a lot. You know, we we had 100 lads strong, mesters. And obviously the banning orders, so we all, we all windled down. You know, some lads got married, some lads went other ways, but we were still the family. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's, that's how it is. And it's like, even if we didn't have a fight, you're still with your family. We class it as a football family. We're, we're, we're a group of lads who enjoy what we're doing, enjoy each other's company, clothes, because a lot of it was fashion. Mm. Yeah. You know, you, you had to look the dog's bollocks. Mm. You know, you had to look the bollocks. You can't just go in a Primark trousers and a T-shirt. You know, <laughs> like You've got the Stoney on. You've got your Beyond Borg, your Tashina. You know you're having a scrap. It's like years ago, before Stone Island then, you used to have scarves. And when you put a scarf on your left hand side under your watch, they indicated you was up for a rat. Yeah, see, so look at that, that's crazy. That's crazy. When you hit yeah. the skin that's heads, and that's why I've got scarves and that. It, it's just, there's always a meaning. Yeah, that's crazy, that is. The you rules within the rules. Sk- Skinheads was a big part in football violence. Yeah. The, the flying jackets, the bother boys, and that Trent and Boot boys, the 60s. You know, it's, and we've gone up Forest, the FYL Forest Young Lads. Obviously, first executive crew. Mm-hmm. That's That's they are, you know. How do you know? How do you? How have you two met them? I've I've knew this gentleman, and you know what? I love him to bits. I always love love for the kid. He's in my heart. His yes. brother, God bless him, yep, rest yep. in peace. Yep. Love them to bits. I know all these lessons. Those yes, kids. kids. I know always had time That's for him. Yeah. Fun. I want one of these kids where, oh yeah, I'm a bit older than you. I took him yeah. apart to play football. Yeah, hundred percent. We used to go on a Sunday. It's been 30 of us. Yeah, King Edward, Mario, King, King Edward. Edward. Yeah, King Your wife used to come on a Sunday with ice poles in yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. Just to drive and give them bags. Of, and that, we're a band of brothers. Yeah. yeah. We are a band of brothers. Looked after us from young. Definitely Sam, definitely and, and looked after us from I respect him. Mm. And that's how life's about. You've got to respect him. That's lovely. I think, yeah, like that's the thing. So you, you mentioned about the fashion. I'll get back onto that because what interests me is that there's this, uh, I suppose stigma is the right word, 
for Stone Island, like gear, right? Yeah. Uh, it, and if you go on any of the socials, if there's some sort of fight or whatever, and someone's wearing a Stone Island Stone jacket, Island. they'll be like Stony, and of it's course, always, of course, always, always Stone yeah. Island. But obviously, nah, Carl Everette, he obviously sold his shit to uh, Moncler. So what he's trying to do now nah, is get it away from yeah. football. Yeah. You see a lot of people wearing it now. And same with Burberry. Mm. When Burberry discontinued it because people like myself gave it a bad name for wearing it. Yeah. Six months, they was going to go bankrupt because these lads, what made them the millions. Stop buying it. Mm. You know, it's like pubs in town. You want a lad to go in with Stone Island and the cost of Berber, then pull shut down. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you, had, you had signs up. You can't yeah, wear Berber, Stone Island and the cost. Yeah. But the pub shut down. Um, this is what yeah. I'm saying, because the poor traitors is bad people. Mm. We aren't bad people. We yeah. are loyal people. Is it like a, so it's almost like a contract that you've gone into when you wear the scarves on the sleeve or when you like, it's a deal that you've been, you've made with another team's crew. Also, also my dad, you know, I was the only child and that meant my dad was a boot boy, Trenton boot boy, you know, he was a doorman in one of the art pubs in Nottingham. He was an art bastard. <laughs> and obviously being the only child, I enjoyed him coming home. Obviously he got shoplifters going in the pub, so he brought me new track suits to look the bollocks. Yeah. And you just went from there. And I love it, to be honest. Apart from married and children, best times of my life on them terraces. Yeah. And it was not just all about the violence, about being we band of brothers. Mm. Yeah. That's what we are. Yeah, I think that's it. And I think that we talk a lot about, and it, and a lot of people will listen to this and they won't get on board with you something like straight away. And, and <laughs> you, that's you, just the you truth. Know, it's, you're always going to get it. You, yeah. you, you're always going to get it. Like I said, when I did the documentary with Mickey Flanagan, we know they was going to ask about the race and the far right in the 70s and 80s and everything. We're not into none of that culture. Yeah. We're not into none of that whatsoever. You know, we're one country mm. and one colour. Yeah. And that's it for me. Yeah. That is it for me. It's a community, isn't it? It's a community. It's a community. Of course it is. I like what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's loyalty as well. It's loyalty. You know what, what I mean? If, you, if you're in, you're in. If you're out, then just stay out. It's like the last, the, the last conviction was 11 years ago. Yeah. And I think this is when. My life sort of changed, you know. Uh, I had two lads, I knew 20 years, went against me in court. Mm-mm. And then you think, yeah, what is it worth it anymore? Yeah, it's yeah. not worth it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. If people are watching this, young lads watching this, you know, I see a lot of young lads at football, at Forest, all over the country. They want a line of coke and a drink to have a fight. Yeah, to yeah, me, yeah. that's where I come from as a coward. Yeah. It's not about that anymore. So when we was growing up, there's no phones. There's calling cars, you're going in the pub, you're on a tear up. <laughs> you know, it's not standing there videoing it and saying, oh, look at me, don't I look smart, look. You know, put your phones down if you want to get into it. And I've always said to people, you cannot wake up one morning and say, I'm going to be an hooligan today. Yeah, it's got to be. I'm going to buy a stone I'm going to be one of the lads. It, it's in you. It, it, it's in your blood. It's 100% it's in you. Yeah. Sam, what's the what's the where's the furthest where's the furthest place that you and the executive boys have travelled to? All over. Where to them England all, all over. We obviously Italy nineteen ninety. Oh, mad. France ninety eight. Mad. You know, we have been all over the country. You know, we had a good firm. We had a very, <laughs> very good firm. Yeah, you know, we've got some top boys in there, top, top lads. And I, I respect them all because like I say we're band of brothers, aren't we? I want to. I want to ask you about what. So obviously, Forrester back in the big league now. Yes. Talk to me about it. how do you feel about it, man? I was there. I uh, I witnessed it. I shed a tear on the final <laughs> whistle. You know, it's been twenty three years, yeah, long yeah. years. Yes, yeah, true. You know, last time I was at Wembley was nineteen ninety. Wow. When we beat Oldham one 0 and obviously it was the new Wembley. So yeah, it was a fantastic day. Mm-hmm. A fantastic day, and you know the club deserves it. Yeah, and you know what? To, to, be, to be fair. To, Watching, watching every, watching the city just come together as like, like how it did. It, it felt it's amazing. Good. It felt, it felt really good. It, like it, it's, it's, it's brilliant for the city, obviously for companies, mm-hmm. for yeah. pubs, mm-hmm. for restaurants. As Nottingham as all, it, it's going to do good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to bring a lot of income back. Really? Obviously, yeah. we've had bad times at the minute. You know, we had COVID, and God bless the people who passed away from COVID. Mm-hmm. But we need to pick it all back up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, it's the, good. and the lads, the lads showed. Showed the the, the the country that what a, what a, what a big city we are. Yeah, we're a man. big club. Well, we're it, a big it, club. Uh, when when they did the uh, commentating, uh, one of the blokes on the commentating says he's never ever witnessed a crowd in all his life as a player and as a fan. 
Yeah, as we did it between Forest. Yeah, yeah. They, they, it was bouncing. Wembley was bouncing. Yeah, you could feel it. Yeah, you could yeah, see yeah. it. You could feel it. It was brilliant. It yeah. was. It was outstanding. Mm. I'm sitting there, got goosebumps. It was. Yeah. It was brilliant. It's amazing. Well, more to come though. Like I think, like with the team that you got. I mean, hopefully you can keep Spence, but I don't know what's going to happen there. But. You know, fo- football, it's a business now. Yeah. It's not what it was. You know, it's, unfortunately, it's, you've got greedy people. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of footballers, they want to buy a new car, they want a nice watch. Yeah. 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 It's not about that. It's about the fans what go and watch them, yeah. what pay a lot of money to travel. You know, hard-working fans. Mm. Obviously, I take my old family, so it comes to a lot of money. So if it weren't for us, loyal fans, they wouldn't be having a nice watch or a nice car. Yeah, so yeah. they've got to get in their rest to say, do you know what? This 50,000 people bouncing about, it's for, yeah. this is for what it is. Yeah, it's true. And, and it's right. It is true. It's beautiful because I'm not from Nottingham originally. And I, I, I can tell the there. accent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's, uh, L- it's Luton. Luton. Yeah, yeah. But you the, were, yeah, you had a, a firm back in the day. Yeah, well, I yeah. Had a <laughs> yeah yeah honestly there's a lot of uh i think the trouble is with Luton specifically and not Luton firm because i don't i'm not going to assume anything about that but they got the edl on a national front in Luton. i'm not into none of that bollocks yeah yeah, yeah yeah and i think that was a problem though it's like uh we went to protect the statues it's this i need to get this across we went to protect the statues on lockdown obviously winston churchill he fought the wars and made our country great. He put great into our country. And then you had the minority of people saying he was a racist and everything like that. What people got to understand, if it wasn't for Winston Churchill and Hitler come over, mm. there'd be no Asians, there'd be no blacks, there'd be blonde hair, blue eyes only. This yeah. is what people, they need to be educated. You know, we we got caught, I had a message from someone in St. Anne's, a black lad, I've, I've known him 40 years. Yeah. Don't forget you're from Stanville. <laughs> To me, I took it personal, to be honest, because the what did they say? What did they say? Don't forget where you are. Oh, where okay. You oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thinking straight away, we're racist. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. We went to take a statue from a bloke. What put great in our country for us to have a good life? And you know, I, I can't see what was wrong with that. To be honest, mm. we just didn't want these minority of people thinking they could just go and smash this. Come on, now. Yes, yeah. it is. People need educated. Do you feel a few things are too like polarized? Like, almost, there's no like, um, there's there's nuanced things that are involved in this. Are like you protecting the Winston Churchill statue? Yes, it's not the same as protecting the. Um, I can't remember the one in Bristol, but it's a different oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, it's yeah. A different yeah, it's, thing. yeah, because it obviously it was a slave, he brought slaves into yeah. the country yeah, 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 to build yeah. it. So the Winston idea. Churchill fought for our country, yeah. so we can have good lives, so we can speak English and put great in. To Britain. Yeah, it's unfortunate that those two, and a lot of, the, this happens quite often, they're polarised and they're put into the same category. It's like, if you protect this statue in Bristol, you're a racist. If you protect Winston Churchill, you're a racist. It's not, it's you, not you, the you case. You get it all. You know, obviously you, you get the lefties and that saying you're this and that. You know, I can always remember when uh, Lee Rigby got killed, God bless him. Is that um, a soldier? Not yes, a soldier. and we did a memorial down at the Trenton Bankman. And obviously there was a lot of lefties there you scum you this and that so I walked over to him the police I had a big police present because obviously me being me and all I says all I says all I says to him is put the flag down pay your respects because in my eyes you're as bad as them people who killed Lee Ridman mm-hmm. mm. put your flag down pay your respects and even a copper said well done well said and he's right I say, yeah. you know instead of pinpointing because we was going to pay our respects you know, it's... Yeah, it's just simple, yeah. It's, I guess it's one of them, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a complex thing for a lot of people because they won't, like, they won't even think about, like, having that discussion. It's it's not a case of discussing anymore. It's sort of like, it's this way or it's Everybody this way. Wants to be right. it, it, just, yeah. it just upsets me because, obviously, you always hear sometimes, oh, that sometimes sounds racist and that lot. You know, my son-in-law is black. You know what, Sam? Three beautiful grandchildren, you know, mixed race. You know what, Sam? I, that, 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 that comment to me sounds, it's mad to me. Like, sometimes Sam's a racist. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, like anyone who says that, they, just, they must not know you. They, they don't know me. They must not know they, you. They don't know me. You know, they don't know. Obviously, being in St. Anne's 31 years and the love I've got for these lads, it's, you it's, know, I've put, put my life for these lads. You it's, know, it's crazy. They've got drama. 
I've got drama, <laughs> and that's and that's how it is. We just look after each other, don't we? Yeah, but it's part of this culture that's been like rightly or wrong. It's, well, wrong, I think yeah. it's people being brainwashed. Yeah, okay. You know, it, it's. And I, and I always believe schools and that now, obviously they've got to be taught about culture. Mm. You see, one of my big admirers was Rosa Parks. Mm. Do you remember Rosa Parks? Mm -hmm. She went and sat on the bus and refused to move mm. because she believed whites and blacks should be together. That is one of my heroes for me. Mm. And I believe she should have a big statue in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, she should. She should because mm, she brought a difference in, obviously your Rosa Parks, your wars, I think a lot of children now should be taught the wars. You know, yeah. what our grandfathers fought for, you know, your grandmother building bombs and stuff in Nottingham, Royal mm -hmm. Ordnance Factory. Mm -hmm. They should be learnt about it and appreciate. Not, oh, we've got Poppy on it, racist. Come on now. Yeah. Or yeah. found St. George because it's St. George's Day. Yeah, it's ignorance, isn't it? Yeah. It, it is ignorance. And it, it does. It gets me mad sometimes because they need educating. Yeah. It's a misunderstanding of like... Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. And gener generalising a group of people. Like my, my family's from Northern Ireland, right? Yeah. I'm Northern Irish. Yeah. And like there's a there's a stigma with a lot of Northern Irish people, a lot of British people. It's always going to happen just because what happened for the last 400 years, particularly the 70s, right? IRA and I think. Yeah. And stuff like that. But, All of that. But they're doing it for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's always politics behind things. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They're not just going to come up and say, I'm going to bomb them today. Yeah, there's yeah. reasons. Yeah, of course there is. Yeah. And obviously it's reasons what we will not know, because obviously yeah, it's yeah. hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Yeah, yeah. But I've got no to against nobody. Um, <laughs> you're Scottish, you're Irish. Dolby, I have, because I've got Dolby. Hello, it's fine. I hate uh, Dolby, look. It's, I have that. So how, how, do, how do you feel yeah. about Dolby going down? We going up and Dolby went down. If you want my honest opinion, I hate them. I hate them with revenge. We've had a lot of battles over the years and things like that. But I do believe, honestly, your Derby, your Leicester, you should, and your Forest should be in one league. Yeah, yeah. You Just, know, yeah, to bring that back. Be because greed, again, has ruined a, a decent yeah. football yeah, yeah, club. Yeah. Don't forget, Peter Taylor and Brian Clough was at Derby yeah, County. Yeah, you true. made them League One champions and everything, true, you know? True. true. So it's a lot of yeah, a lot of players have crossed over between the two as well, like legends for many years. Yeah, yeah, many years. But then the fans are the problem, isn't it? Really, when it can. <laughs> it's, it's just hatred and bragging rights. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it's it. just hatred and bragging rights. It, you know, it's it was like when Leicester come in the cup game and they smashed town. You know, yeah. if, that was like recently, wasn't yeah, it? If people look into that, there was a documentary made that day, and it was a dirty bastard journalist made this documentary about hooligans and all of a sudden it's Forrest and Derby. Come on. It's, they've done it on purpose. Yeah. Because they yeah. want to get media out of it. Mm. Yeah. Don't make us bad people. It's like, for instance, when I was in London protecting the statue, I was talking to some, uh, some lads, I'm not going to say who there was. And I goes, who was that fella? And it was all sometime there. They said to us, it gives 200 pound to come get us a load of beers if we start throwing bottles and Video is uh, it was a fucking media. See, look at it, it. It's not crazy. It, yeah, it's yeah. naughty. Yeah. That's crazy. That yeah. is, and it's like the gentleman who got prisoned for pissing on that to memorial whenever the policeman got killed yeah, by yeah, the yeah. terrorists. Yes, yes. But do you know, if you widen the picture, there was fifty lads in the piss. But because it was an English lad yeah. with tattoos, yeah. And if you look at the plaque, the plaque was miles away. Yeah, the it was right it, above him. Running the stigma. If you took the, the proper picture, I was there. I had a piss against that fair, that edge. <laughs> yeah. There's 50 lads was, but one person got singled out for it. And I thought that was a bit naughty. And that's, that's the press again. Mm. You know, the, the, the BBC caused a lot of trouble. Okay. For everyone, mm. you know, th globally. And it's fact. Because it's a narrative that they want to- Sell. Sell, yeah. Well, that news of the world, they did the same. Yeah, well, yeah. It's interesting, really, because like, I don't think many people like yourself have this chance chat freely about it um, and actually I don't think many people hear this yeah. sort of perspective I just sort of like obviously I mean, since you was a baby you know and it's been pestering me for months yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> you know we've been excited about it you know I spoke with my wife about it obviously I've been with my wife many many years it's like his mum my wife is she'll always look after me <laughs> and you know I'm going to do it because I, I need to get out there yeah. and, and I need people to understand when you see me in the street don't think, oh, look at that racist bastard up with his tattoos and everything like that. 
it's, yeah, no, it's a no go. Yeah, you're good yeah. people. You're good you, people. You man. come, we talk, we respect, and that's you know I, I was dragged up on the best of this day, and I've said dragged up. We was dragged up, but we was dragged up with manners and morals. Mm. When you're caught and you walk out on the outside of the road, see an old lady, you carry her back to her door. Simple, yeah. You pull the chair out when you have a new meal. Simple. Open the door. You know, it's, and that's how it was. But I always said I was a council estate boy, what done good. That's it. Do you feel like, like, I'll go back to the community thing. We chat about like younger, like people now. Yes. The community feeling, the sense of community isn't really as intrinsic, like it's not really seen often. Uh, There's a lot of stuff on mobile phones, there's groups and that, but there's this idea of like getting together with the executives or whatever. It is a community youth need some sort of uh, group where they can like I've spoke with Trevor and that and I said obviously we'll help do your football and I'll bring some lads in and do football and mm-hmm. you know like I did with these lads and that and, and I do think they should get together and like these young lads coming up instead of like moving away and having a snidey remark they come and talk to us but yeah. you know what they'd be very interested you know, I think as well, Derek, I think a lot of these youths, youths of today nowadays could take a lot from, from Sam's, Sam's era. You know what I mean? Because like he says, a lot of them was, it was organised. You lot over there, views lot over there, we'll have a tear up and then we'll go back home. That's and, it. And you get me? Yeah. I think that could, I think that, that there could be taken and instead of the knives, instead of the guns, yeah, yeah. we've got a problem, we have a fist up and we, and we go, and we, that's it. You see what I, I you know what I'm saying? Friend, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. You yeah. know, RC. I want to be big name yeah, man, big up RC, RC, man, big up RC, rest, RIP. Rest in peace. RIP, RC. My son-in-law was there and it's something they don't want to see. You know, when I was being brought up, my granddad always says to me, if you can't use them, simple. don't bother doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah simple. Yeah. And I always believe, these what use knives and take this out of the one and take this. The one, the cowards, they're not just ruining their lives, they ruin everybody else's lives mm. for the sake of a knife. You mm. know, if, if there's a bit of drama, and I always believe in this social media now, you know, my daughter's been bullied and stuff like that because obviously I nearly lost her five years ago. To Who's bullying business. your daughter? No one should be. <laughs> but, you know, obviously we had to go and do what we had to do. Mm. You know, my daughter had diabetes and she nearly died, God bless her. Mm. And people saying she's not normal and now and... I had to do what I had to do. Yeah, of course. It's, it's something you don't do. I don't tolerate things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I see someone pull a knife out, I'll be taking that knife off because they don't need to use knives. Yeah, of course not. Sam, would you say, if, would you recommend someone who maybe they've got like pent up aggression and may, they're probably going to be a young man? Boxing. Boxing, yeah. Boxing. Get a bag, as you know, you said you box yeah. yourself. Get a bag. Get your anger out on the back. Mm. Yeah. Don't go and pick a knife up. Bag. Yeah. And you'll feel better after. You will feel better after. It's true. It is true. And it don't, you don't have to be good at it either. You can no, just... Because no. a bag will do what you tell it a to. A bag won't take you back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the difficulty with me. I didn't like getting hit back. But, it, you know, it's like I've always said, obviously, the young generation of hooligan, now, see, this was our old matter. A true hooligan fights because he hates what is in front of him, but also he loves what is behind him. That's what we was about. Mm. You know, we're like, like I explained with Mickey Flanagan. He, he says to me, Sam, the youth of your day to the youth of today, what can you say? Well, the youth of my day was clothes, music and a tear up. Mm. The youth of today, Nike, Max trainers, bum bag, 10 pound bags of weed. And me personally, if you want my personal opinion, I do think the government have failed the youth of today. Mm. I do, honestly. They should bring the YTSs back out. The, sh- the show yeah. and help all the youth yeah that's, that's a big point you're on about all knife crime and drugs and everything like that give them opportunities mm. to work for a living mm. you know if I'm not going to say people's names but I know a lot of people and they'll say to me I, I work seven days a week I want my families to have everything <clears throat> you know and and I can see where the youth are coming from making Two, three hundred pound a day because mm. it's easy money. Mm. But do you know if the government sat down and said, right then, there's so many jobs going in Nottingham, why do you get them on it? Mm. Yeah. Stop do the money, get them on it. It's true. And, and I do believe they have failed the, the youth of today, the government. They, they have. Because yeah. when I was a kid, it was £17.50 in the brown envelope. Why, yes, you had to work. 
Mm. And obviously life was a lot cheaper then. <laughs> Things was a lot cheaper then. But I do, I do believe that the youth of today, no matter what race, what colour, they need a stepping stone in life. They need a chance in Definitely. life. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, we talk about like a lot of youth clubs as well, closing down and particularly there's, uh, Marcellus does a boxing gym up in... Um, Is that Baz? Baz, yeah, Baz, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Baz. And that's good. Things like that, more and more things like that are very useful. But it does seem like the, yeah. If you're a young kid, what can you do in town? Really? You, what do they do now? Yeah, they just to, hang about. sit there blazing and yeah, robbing yeah. people and pulling so, knives out. That's it. Yeah. So do you know if you, you did events, your football's out here, yeah. your gyms, mm-hmm. you know, it ain't going to happen, is it? Yeah, it's very true. It ain't going to happen. You, you, the kids, it's like around here, the parks and that. If the county council spent a bit of money mm. and got people looking after the parks, getting rid of the druggies mm. and the piss heads, People will want to go, go on there, yeah. yeah. No period of sending their kids on there. I won't let my daughters go on these two. They're not going on there. Because the reason being, years ago, when these kids were young, we spent hours up there. Yeah, 50 of us. 50 of us. Professional footballers. Yeah, best than that. You have to knock about and play football. Yeah, definitely. And and it's there. And that's what we did as a community. You know what I mean? We all got together. What we're doing today then, lads? I'm not working Sunday. Come on, we'll go up there. 30 of us up there. All yeah. day we're playing. Yeah, it's it's true. true. The sun went down. Yeah, it's true. And it's true. brilliant days. It's true. Yeah, that's we're great. brilliant days. And I, f- and I believe getting with the young lads and having that banter with them and love, respect to them, you know, you get it back. Yeah, it goes a long way. And that's and that's what it is. That's why that's why I think the community of St. Anne's have got so much love for you, Sam, you know what I mean? Because you showed us And I've, I've got the love back, yeah, you know, I've got the love back of to all of them. Obviously, I'm the best with lad born and bred, that's in my art, it's where mm. I was born, but I've been here 31 years, yeah. and this is my own. Yeah, you, you showed know, us love from you. changes, you know. His brother, God bless him, I loved him to bits, mm-hmm. you know, and after it all happened, he was this, he was that, I knew him as Remy, yeah, yeah. the lovable rogue. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Sam, you got 10 people in ice cream, you got, you got this for a sucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it. it was always there. And that's it. it. In, you know, and, and do you know what? It guts me sometimes when the young lads get stabbed and mm. same with the young lad outside the shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Never. You know, I was, I was there, I helped. And it's like, it is, it's horrible. It is, I knew both lads in the part and mm. obviously, God yeah. bless him, he passed away. Mm. And I also knew the lad what the lad did it. Yeah. The lad what did it. I had respect for him because he always gave me respect. Yeah. Mm. There's two victims always. Though. Always. There's, there's not just, there's not Nobody just two, wins. families. It, Nobody it's, wins. It's families. It's the old families, you know, and that's when families break down and parents split up and all things like we don't need, we need to come together. Mm. Sentence needs to come together. I don't want people walking past and think, that's a bit rough, I can smell weed. Mm. Come in and enjoy yourself. Yeah, simple. You know, come in and enjoy yourself. They, these aren't rebels. They're not bad people. Mm-hmm. They're good people. Just have time out to come and talk to them. And then you'll get the respect what you give them, you'll get it back. Seems simple. simple. It is. Cool. That's banging. And so we're going to wrap it up there. But before we do, Newcastle, first game. <laughs> what are we saying? Was it home or away? Uh, away. Away. I'm away. not going. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, going. Not, I'm not going now. I'm not going. I went there last time. It's too high up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm away for Liverpool, which I'm a bit gutted about. Yeah. But it'd be nice to go back to the old stomping grounds where you got convictions and down to a few people you know <laughs> <laughs> going to be some, some memories I think walking down some of the streets do you have um, say if you do go to Liverpool yes are people do people if they hear yeah. us Sam's coming to Liverpool sometime everyone knows me sometime, right, sometime. So. They'll, they'll come and meet me oh. you know I have the uh, big respects so I'll tell you a quick story yeah I don't know if you remember the young lad what died uh, a couple of months ago in Brisbane Oh, yeah, yeah. Played yeah. for Brisford. Yeah, uh, I forgot his name. Dylan. Mm. Young Dylan. Well, we was playing Millwall. And obviously, Millwall got a fierce reputation mm. of doing what they're doing. Mm. One Millwall lad rang me up, Simon, God bless him, rang me up and said, there's a suntan. He says, we're coming to Nottingham. We're bringing a reef. Is that okay? And I thought, do you know what? And I've got pictures all on me. That's internet, amazing. And I thought that was brilliant. So, I met all these Millwall lads off the train. <laughs> Next That's minute, the chief superintendent comes up to me. <laughs> Sometime can I have a word. He says, yeah. He says, you're giving me a fucking headache this morning. <laughs> I says, why? Well, 
He says, all I've got on the radio is sometimes Sam's in town with a large element of Millwall. What's going off? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I organised a pub for him to go in. The, the landlord laid food on for him. And do you know what? There's 50 known Millwall lads. Yeah. They were as good as gold. Yeah. Wow. They come and pay the respects. Obviously, outside the pub where was, there was a police van. So I, I had a chat with them. They, mm. Obviously, they know who I am. And fair play to them. The part of the van around the corner, and when we did a, a speech and a minute silence, they come and stood with us, and that's how it should be. That's it. And Nottingham that's Police put a fantastic review saying it was good to see two known clubs for fighting against each other come together. Brilliant. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what it's about. See, and this is what I'm saying about you always get bad feed. So when it's good feed, because obviously the Millwall lad around me says, oh, we never get good press. I said, yeah, it's some good press from Nottingham, mate. He went, Fuck. he went, fucking hell, we never get that. <laughs> you know, it's, and that's what it is. You know, they, they knew a young lad died for, uh, playing football. They come and pay the respect. That's love. Yeah, yeah, that's so, love, you know what I mean? And like, when we go to England games, you know, if I go shopping with my wife in London, I can bring all the lads up and we'll go for a meal and... Where years ago we could fuck out of each other. It's crazy. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's it's crazy. And then West Ham first home game. Is West Ham the first home yeah. game? Yeah. I know a lot of West Ham lads. I know Cass Penny, Colton Leach, and obviously they they were down. We'll have a chin wagon that with them. And but like so these, <laughs> these these young ones will do what the young ones want to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I've, you know, I've always like when I got done uh, when I got grassed up and that. My wife, we went away and my wife sat down. Well, we walked on the beach and that. And she goes, I think it's about time you sort of wrapped up. And I says to my wife, I says, I can promise you I won't organise any buses anymore. I will promise you I won't organise any fights anymore. But one thing I can't promise you, if I'm in a pub and the pub goes up, I, I've got to get stuck in. Yeah, it's yeah. it's my way of life and it's who we are. You know, it's... And that's it. And I've stuck to it. <laughs> I've stuck to it. <laughs> So, yes, son. that's mad. Yeah, no, man, I appreciate coming on here and like, I know, yeah, you know Joe very well and mm-hmm. you've been very open and it's been really interesting to chat to you. Yeah. And yeah, if there's anything you want to uh, mention before we wrap up. It was on about clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the clothing. Yeah. What would you like to know about clothing? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we let's were talking about that. Let's get into the clothing one before yeah. I wrap up, man. Yeah, we were talking about. Um, talk, I want you to talk about your, your, your famous. Crep collection, his, crep, his trainer collection is crazy. Okay. It's 711 pairs. Oh, that's, shit. That's me. Yeah. That I've, been, I've, been in, I've been in books and everything for It's it. crazy. I've, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. It's mad. So where, where do we, can we see it online? Where's the, where is it? If like? you go on, if you get me on Facebook, it, yeah. it, it's all on there. Well, I can find some pictures of it to him. Yeah, yeah. Some, when I go home. Yeah, get some pictures of it. And you'll see him. I've got four rails of Stone Island back from eight to four to present day. And, I get yeah. So, In fact, I've seen some of the pairs of the Adidas, the red and white ones. No, these, these, the trim stars are the classics. Oh, yeah. You see, with me, my trainers got to match my t shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's how we are. <laughs> you know, it's, it's who we are, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So, so when you say you got 700 pairs, 711. You... I donated 35 pair not long ago to Ukraine. Amazing. Oh, amazing. wow. Okay. So, you know, it's, I'm not going to wear them and obviously, What's going off over there? They need them more than I do. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you see them running around with guns and I got my training, it's not my fault. They <laughs> <laughs> run quicker though. <laughs> but we just obviously, it's like today, I just need to get across to a lot of people. It's football lads aren't bad people. You know, we always had free commandments in football violence, and it was never run, mm-hmm. never grass. Mm-hmm. Always have each other's back. That's it. Always. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's and it's like I've never drank, don't smoke, drink or nothing. I just, Pass it to be his biggest bus going. You'll never get a buzz where you've got 10 lads and you've got 20 lads running at you. That's you, crazy. No drug will ever do that. It won't. And I think that's how it was back then. Yeah. That's crazy. Have, that's crazy. Yeah. Have you have you packed it in now or are you still? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah, man. I mean, it's, I think the, the the one thing that I think people, some people listening to this are going to take away is if, if it's organised and like you say, most like it is. You don't do innocent people. Yeah. This this is where you will get some clowns, some idiots who I don't class as football lads, yeah. smacking people who's with a daughter or with the grandparents. That's they idiot. are scumbags. That's an idiot. Too. I don't do things like that. We did what we did was against people doing what we did. Mm, you know, yeah. it was out the way. We did what we did. You know, we don't do innocent people. 
we're not, it's it's a code. It's organised, it's organised. Yeah. Once someone's on that floor, you don't lay the boot or stamp over it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. for a stupid thing like that, they're going to lose a life, you're going to lose your life. Mm. You know, once you hit them and they're on the floor, that's it. Let them get back up, then it's again. <laughs> don't ever stampede them when they're on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. not. Bottles, people. It's like I always say, anyone can chuck a craft traffic cone or a bottle. And I've always said, when you have a group of lads, the game ones are on the front, the maybes are in the middle, and the runners are at the back. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So these fuckers on the front, be careful. Yeah. These in the middle are thinking, and them at the back are running. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'll be in the back. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be a maybe. That's yeah. That's in, that's really interesting, man. And um, yeah, if you ever want to come on again, like listen, I, I'll uh, I, I'll be glad. You know, obviously, we need people to come together. Mm-hmm. You know, don't oh yeah, because in for tattoos is, is this and that. Don't judge people. You know, and like I said I've always said from dot one, there's one race and it's a human race. So all these people out here watching this, yep, it's one big race. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter what colour we are, who we are. And if you see me in the street, don't avoid me, come and say hello. Yeah. Now say hello back. Sometimes Sam, mate, sometimes Sam. <laughs> Big up, thank you so much. And, no uh, worries. Yeah, no worries. Pleasure, Sam. Right there, yeah. Thank you. All right. I've grown into a fine young man. Truth be told, I ain't done bad from the life one had. Beautiful soul and a wife.